I'm talking about a new generation that will move in the gifts, all right, and make grace prominent. Where you are going, you have never crossed before. It's going to be sweet. You will cause people to fall in love with my son. Churches that are impacted by grace are asking, how does all this fit in with the gifts of the Holy Spirit? The nine gifts of the Holy Spirit are called gifts. Charisma. Which means what? All the gifts of the Holy Spirit are what? Favor which one receives without any merit of his or her own. These gifts are spirit gifts. They are spirit gifts, which means what? They flow by the Spirit. So in other words, you're not trying to deserve the gifts. No, it, it, they are free gifts. But they operate as you follow the Spirit, as you focus on the Spirit of God who is in you. You're gonna enjoy your, your, your gift, your boat, you must go to the water. Amen? So you tune in to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. What are you doing, Lord? You ask Jesus, what are you doing now? If somebody is sick, what's the best gifts? Healing. If somebody is brokenhearted, depressed, lost a loved one, what's the best gift? What's the best gift? Prophecy, because prophecy, exhortation, comfort. So when you give a word, that miracle that's lying there dormant, that dream, that forgotten dream, that, that forgotten uh, revelation in someone's heart will jump. You will, you will ignite, you will fan into flame that, that seed on the, in, on the inside of that person. Okay, there's someone here. Uh, you've been sitting and you've been realizing that when you sit down late, lately, there, there is a pain in your tailbone area. Who is that? All right, stand to your feet. Okay, you have, you've been having pain in your tailbone area. Father, I thank you. Everyone says, healing is by grace. Healing is by grace. And grace, grace be upon them. Sister, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I want a sister to hold up, okay? Touch the area. Okay, can you feel a warmth in that place? Can you feel the warmth? Can you feel the warmth? Now we're going to sit down here. Sit down here. Okay, put your weight on it in Jesus' name. It's gone. What is it? It's gone. It's gone. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, you may go back and we believe it will not happen again in Jesus' mighty name. Lift your hands. Do you have that pain just now? Can you sit down here? Do you feel, it, it, the power of God is really on you. Can you feel it? In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Receive it, sister. Press hard. Move around. Move, move. Here. All gone? Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister, you are healed, you know, already. All right, come. You sit down here. No hands laid on you, but you, you just sit on it. Press harder. Praise God. What happened? It's gone. It's gone. Tears, precious. Just crying. Praise the Lord. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, we are now in the prophetic time of God. Church, we are in God's prophetic timetable. We are paving the way for a grace-based manifestation of the supernatural. A grace-based manifestation of the miracles. Grace-based manifestation. And then people realize, my goodness, it's so easy. All right, and more people will, you know what? Qualify themselves. Amen? More people will realize their disqualification is a qualification.